All right, now we are looking at creating the wheel and the axle for our car. So I'm going to come up here and go to New, a standard IPT, hit OK. I'm going to create my axle first. So I, all I need to do here is draw a circle. When I bring it out, I'm going to type in .25 Enter. I'm going to come over here to my little toggle or my orbit switch there and just kind of tweak it so I can see it being made as a 3D object right click done so now I need to finish this sketch so I'm gonna right click done right click finish sketch that changes all my stuff and the grid goes away so now I can extrude it basically says what are you gonna extrude the only thing that's on the screen is the circle profile and I'm going to change the distance to 3 and I'm gonna hit OK so now I've got an axle here so I'm gonna go up here and go to file save as I want to save this in as the axle. Hit save. Now at this point, I'm going to come up here and go to a. Uh, I want a new part. New part gives me the same blank screen. Now we're going to make the wheel for our car. So I'm going to click on the circle button. Click and drag it out, and I want the diameter of this one to be one and three quarters. So 1.75 enter. I'm going to hit my orbit button to kind of tweak it a little bit so I can see it being made into a 3D. And so in order to make it into 3D, once again, right click done, right click finish sketch. And when I hit that, the screen will go off of the grid and the new windows come up. So I'm going to go extrude. It automatically goes at one inch. We only want to go with, uh, it could be a half inch, three quarters. I'll go 0.75. We'll make it three quarters of an inch thick. And I'm going to hit OK. So we have the start to our wheel, but we're going to make this thing look like a rollerblade wheel. So for one, we got to put the axle hole through the middle of it. So I'm going to right click, say I want to start a new sketch. And it basically says, where do you want to start that new sketch at? On this face left click and now my grid comes back this might be a scenario where I'm gonna go ahead and click on this front button over here and it's gonna get it flat for me and I'm gonna draw a circle from that center point and I'm gonna type in 0.25 because that was been the size of my axles I like to go back to that orbit just to tweak it a little bit again so I can kinda of see what's going on as it's happening right click done right click finish sketch gives me the blank screen again so now I can extrude it well again I'm not going to join it I'm going to cut it so I'm going to hit cut and it still says hey what profile do you want to use you want to use this profile or do you want to use this profile we certainly want the small circle and we're going to cut that part out so when I hit OK that part is now hollow if you will so now it's going to make this thing look like a rollerblade wheel and we've talked about using the fillet command in AutoCAD before. Well, the fillet command here is no different, really. We're going to click up here and hit fillet. Basically, we had to hit R enter to change the radius size and whatnot in AutoCAD. Well, here we're just going to click here and type 0.25. And then as I move my mouse off the screen, I can be able to select an edge. I should be able to. How about if I just redo it again here? So you see how it lets me select that edge? When I select it, it rounds it over automatically. Rounds it over automatically. So when I hit apply, now that thing looks like a rollerblade wheel. Right click done. And then I will save this as the wheel. So now I've got an axle, a car body, and a wheel. All right. The uh, next video here will show you how to assemble the, the three together. And uh, we'll go from there here in a minute.